Well, hidely ho, neighborino. Hi, diddly ho, neighborinos. Hello, Holy moly, hello. Hello, everyone. You're so good at timing that now. Uh, hi, welcome back to another live stream once again. It is. What day is it today? It's Thursday, that's right. It's Thursday, so let's move you out of the way, sorry. Um, yeah, we're back, and this time we are back with some more Broken Sword. The Angel of Death, otherwise known as... Is it Secrets of the Ark? I don't know, they always have different names, these silly games. Broken Sword 4, basically. We're up to Broken Sword 4. Um, which we haven't played in quite a few weeks, so my memory is going to be a little bit hazy. Last thing I remember is we were at a meat packing plant and we were just spying on some dodgy looking people in a room in an office, I think, is where we got up to. Um, but yeah, I was very tempted to play some more Minecraft tonight, but I need to stop. I need to stop. I've been playing Minecraft too much. Um, and in fact, there's other things I wanted to play as well. Uh, I'll get onto them later, but there's just so many games and just not enough time to stream, I tells you. I was going to stream at the weekend and I just ran out of time. Anyway, hello everyone. How are we all doing? Stumpy, hello, welcome. I'm the Mr. J. Hello, uh, Owl. Hello, Max, Dr. Pompadou. Evening all, aloha. Hope we're doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing all right. But, oh. The yapping dog has just started. Of course it has. Of course it has, because now I want to stream. The dog starts to yap. Honestly, we've got a yapping dog in the back. And then we've got a howling dog in the front. And I'm a, listen, I like dogs. I like dogs. I'm a dog person. Dogs are great. Man's best friend. Yada, yada, yada. Cats don't make as much noise. <laughs> Cats just chill. These bloody dogs bark and yap and howl. Ah, oh, I love dogs. They're great. No, never mind. Um, So, I'm just conscious that actually I've not set up this game. Is it going to appear? No. Wow, what if I click it? Hello? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, it's still trying to find Minecraft. There you go. Watch this. Kablamo. There we are. And then you should be able to hear it. You should be able to hear it. There we go. There we go. Uh, my housemate's cat was more annoying in an endearing way than any dog. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Fish are the way to go. That's true. Then you just got to care about the heat, uh, the noise of the uh, the filter bubbling away. Not the filter, the um, I guess just the decoration. Man's best friends, but the neighbor's dog is man's worst enemy. It really is. It really is. Let's mute that again for a sec. Hang on. Cats aren't as silent as you think. My won't shut up because I shut the living room door off to redecorate it. That is true, actually. We do have some cats. Um, we're just, there's just, it's a, a, a menagerie around us here. Is that the right word? Um, there's cats, there's dogs, um, lots of birds, obviously. The cats, sometimes they do get a little bit moany sounding, and sometimes they do fight as well. There's a few cat fights I hear. Um, I would ignore him whilst I, whilst I was in bed. He would eventually climb onto my chest and gently stroke my face. If I ignored that, he would put his nose into my eye and forcefully exhale. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> that, that makes me... <laughs> I'm just picturing now. Hang on. Having read that, I am now picturing a very specific image in my mind. Uh, what do I do to search this? Hell yeah! <laughs> I found it straight away. I'm sure you all know. Um, that. Is this what happened with the cat? <laughs> oh, man. All I hear is meow and four different cat voices. Oh. 
I'm not cataphobic. I'm not cataphobic. I like cats, actually. I do like cats. Um, I didn't used to like cats, but I have... I have seen the error of my ways beforehand. And actually, I think cats can be quite cute. What the hell are some of these images? Ooh! All right, hide that. Um, yeah, I, I do like cats, actually. I just... um. I am slightly allergic to them as well, so they make me go all snotty and sneezy. Snotty and sneezy. Ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy, MC. Thank you very much. Ahoy hoy. <laughs> Ahoy hoy. <laughs> I love that voice. Okay, I say that every time. Okay, right, let's get into the game, shall we? I'll unmute it once again. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't pick the right buttons today. Load. The New York Meatpacking. Searching factory for clues. Yes, that's the one. So here we are. Yeah, we just went up there and looked through the window. I actually can't remember what we saw in the window now, though. I'm hoping it... Oh, wait. Where's our little... George, where are you going? Where's your PDA? Uh, notes. Now, I really love this idea of having a PDA where the actual information takes up a sixth of the screen. That's really useful. Okay, here we are. Overheard a meeting in a secret room. The goons are led by a guy named Fingers, who seems to be working for a godfather called... Spalacci. Fingers locked the manuscript in a cabinet. I just need to find a way into that room. Oh, that's right, because they've got the manuscript. That's right, and then the silly Anna Maria. The Nico replacement. For now. That's the one that she told us about. Okay. You've got nine of the little brats. Anyone who thinks they are perfect angels has never lived with a cat. That's true, I've not. Nine cats, though. How does that even work? Goodness gracious me. <laughs> Hidden in the PDA, eat up Martha. <laughs> I got that reference. Right, come on. Come on, George. Come on, Georgie. I forgot all the controls. Can I Can I use Worcester? Can I use... I can use this. Great. So... We didn't actually fully explore this meatpacking plant, did we? I feel like we kind of started to have a look around and then got distracted. Like, I don't think we've been in here, have we? <gasps> First aid kit. Oh, no, we have been in here. Poking my finger into the electronics has no effect. Okay, fine. I had 10, but she passed a, she passed of old age at 23 last week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But 23, that's... I don't know what cat years are like. I know dog years are meant to be, what, seven years? But cat, that sounds old for a cat. So, um, you know, sounds like she had a nice long life. Actually, 23 is very old. I'm trying to think of a 23-year-old dog. Anyway, how have we all been? How have we all been since last week? Um, also, I need anyone's top tips. Anyone who's been to a convention, like a, a Comic Con or a what, you know, anything similar, a nerdy convention, basically. Um, I need your advice because I'm going to MCM London on Saturday. It's the same place that Minecon was. Minecon London, all those years ago. <laughs> Eight years ago now, holy moly. Um, that's going to be a little bit of nostalgia for me. But yeah, I'm going to MCM London, So I, and I've never been to a, an MCM before. So what, anything I should prepare for? Is it going to be smelly? Is it going to be cool? Is it going to be both? 
I actually saw... I actually saw... Wait a minute. One of the people there, although I'm not going to do this, because they have uh, photo ops and autographs and stuff, and you have to pay for that. And they always just seem a little bit cringy. Um, I don't really think I would, unless it was someone huge. But even then, I'd, I'd feel too awkward to do this, to do like a photo opportunity thing. But in terms of who's going to be there, I didn't actually see many people I recognized um, from like TV or, or games. However, there is one person that I did recognize and oh no that's not how you spell their name there we go it's this guy this guy's gonna be there julian glover so not only was he in indiana jones but he was also bum 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 oh why is he not okay well he was in fewer eyes only he was he was chrissy as tom so affectionately dubbed him he was Christatos. Um, that would be cool to see him. Since Fiora Zoni is now like my second favourite Bond film. Hello. There he is. There he is. So that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, um, I digress. Uh, I've been pretty great. How are you? I'm pretty good. Good. Making progress on the Morge server. Yes, I saw you posted about the uh, Guardian farm. Um... That's cool. Although the thing, Garden, Guardian Farms, I always, uh, I always think now like Guardian Farm. And I just kind of have not not nasty memories, but just it's a lot of work. The all the stuff that we did with the Guardian Farm and the JFS, where you have to empty out that entire space, and I was just like, oh, Guardian Farm, ooh, no. <laughs> it was a lot of work, a lot of sand. I recall that. Good, good. Wear comfy shoes and bring your own food. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good advice. Bring your own food is an interesting one because I think a lot of people have said to me already, don't get food anywhere near there. Um, go to somewhere like... Uh, I don't think it's that far from the O2... The, yeah, the O2 Arena. Oh, and there's a lot more food choices there. Didn't he play one of the dwarves in The Hobbit? Maybe. Mm, actually, no. It's not, it's not coming up for Hobbit. He's been in a lot of stuff, though. He was in... He was in Star Wars? Oh. General Maximilian V. Is, I don't even recognise this guy. Oh, my God. Ah. <gasps> Is he the guy that gets choked by Darth Vader? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't care. Um, <laughs> let's get on with the game. We're never going to complete this game. He's in the ATAT. -AT. Oh. At at. Wait, I can run, can't I? There we are. And actually, I just went the wrong way. Come on. Oh, okay, we haven't been in here. We haven't been in here with the poor piggies. Oh, hello. Anything I can... Oh, that's interactive. What is that? Interactive. Nope. Oh. Okay, I wanted to look at it first, but that's fine. Vegetarians, look away now. Right, what was the point of that? I can't even look at it. I can only use it. Interesting. Holy moly, this place just goes on. Just keeps going.
What's that sound? What's burning? Something. Oh, are these are these the furnaces? The handle's very hot. I nearly melted my fingers to it. Okay, don't do that again. Uh, instead, use your salami. Oh no! <laughs> uh, what do we actually have on us? We have pen, PDA, flyer, ID. I kind of like that noise actually. That's kind of a nice noise. Salami, lighter. Our trusty extendable golf club. Oh, fireproof blanket. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, that's my line. But perfect for what exactly? Why do we need to get in here? Oh, there's smoke. Is there smoke useful? I finally got my glasses last weekend and I kept looking over them and realizing how hazy my view without them. How did I see before? Honestly, it's depressing, isn't it? It is depressing. Oh, the smoke's cleared. Uh, I remember feeling exactly the same way and it even happens changing glasses as well. Um, I guess it's partly because my gl uh, glasses just get a bit scratched and a bit duller over time, but also I think probably my vision got a bit worse, so they gave me a different, uh, uh, a different, you know, lens. And um, so I remember even just getting new glasses, I was thinking, holy moly, everything seems sharper. Uh, what did I miss? The app crashed twice. The app is terrible, I've realised. I'm totally with you, Al. Although, sorry it made you watch ads twice. That's, see, that also sucks. That also sucks. Um, I tried watching someone... So on iPhone, I don't know what it's like on other phones, but the Twitch app, you can you can do like a picture-in-picture picture mode and you can put it in the corner, and that just completely wrecks it for me. Like, And if I pause it, or if, I wanna, if I'm watching a VOD and I want to like scrub back, nope, doesn't, doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Just just refuses to play. Awful. There's meat hanging from the ceiling, dripping fat onto the floor. The smell's powerful and the heat's intense. Grandpa Stobart's home distillery all over again. Ugh. Oh, the fat from the meat is disgusting. I'm gonna need industrial soap to get this off. Okay, do we actually pick up some meat? No. There's meat hanging from the ceiling, dripping fat onto the floor. I don't care. Stop that, Hal. Stop talking about that. What do we need to... Do we need to soak up the fat? Do we need to burn the fat? No. That's stupid. That's a silly idea. I'm greased up already. So I don't need to touch it again. Okay, right. We did get it on our hands. So now we're all greased up. Everyone who wanted to see George, all greasy. Lucky you. GavGavX, hello, welcome. It's fine on my phone, but lagging is normally better on iPad, but it just crashed now. Oh. <laughs> Being subbed is good. Honestly, that's the one thing I do miss from... Uh, Prime. The door is locked shut, but the handle is cold, so it hasn't been used. Is using my uh, using my Prime subscription because I don't really watch enough people to warrant. Well, that's not true. I do watch Limmy quite a lot, but yeah, he sort of annoys me as well. So <laughs> it's like a love hate relationship. Um, and obviously the other JFS uh, people I will watch, but locked. I wonder if what's happening in there has something to do with this Tony character. Oh, is that where we need to go? Okay. My god, you're greasy. The door's blocked by all that wood. Are we still all greased up? What can we do with our greasy, greasy hands? That is such a strange thing to need to do. Can we do it again? I'm greased up already, so I don't need to touch it again. 
<laughs> Just the line. I'm greased up already. Let's just go. Let's just go. Slap that man in the face with a greasy hand. Where are you? There you are. Hey. Hello. Hey there, fellow worker. You again. What now? I'm all greasy. Oh no, that's not a not a talking point. Who would have thought it, eh? Um, sorry, let me just turn that off. Okay, I watch Twitch most nights. There are probably one or two nits I don't watch. Nits. Oh, nights. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I love that word, nits. Nitwits. Deathworks, hello. Uh, hey, Mark, I hope you're doing amazing. I'm doing pretty good, thank you very much. Been loving the Loom playthrough. Oh, that's very good to hear. I very much enjoy playing it. And I even, I quite enjoyed the length of it as well. Give me short games, that's, that's what I say. Short films and short games. Damn, what correct. Oh yeah, speaking of games, George can be a bit greasy in the background, but the game that I am tempted to play, I don't, I honestly don't think it will be a, a very good stream game. Or maybe it will, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not going to buy it anytime soon. Is the new Star Trek game. As you will know, or well, maybe you know, because I've talked about it a few times. I'm getting right into the Star Trek TNG now. Next generation. Mm. Loving it. I'm now becoming full-blown Trekkie. And oh, look at this. I just searched for it, and the top story news article is Star Trek Resurgence immerses you in a fascinating TNG-era story. So it's basically a telltale game, a point-and-click, effectively, a Star Trek game. And that excites me. That excites me a lot. You could say... I just think they're neat. So I am very tempted to play it. However, I think I might wait till it goes on sale. Because how much actually is it? £31.69. Oh, actually, they have a discount at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. 25% off that. What would that be? £7? Eh. We'll see. But it's very story-driven and, you know, decision-based. So I don't know how good that will be for a stream. But it will be different. It would definitely be different. So I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm going to be honest with you. I am tempted. I don't watch streams very often. Usually just pop into people I found on YouTube if I like their stuff. It's, um, to be fair, I do think Twitch is better than YouTube for finding people. I do, like, sometimes I just look on the Twitch homepage and there are some people, because they even have a section that is specifically smaller communities, people streaming to maybe 20, 30 people. And I really like that. Twitch, uh, sorry, YouTube is getting better for that. I am noticing now that they are showing smaller channels on the homepage. But I do like that on Twitch, I can just go and literally find this person with 10, 10 viewers. And if I wanted to, I could talk to them and actually, and actually have them see my messages. Unlike the huge streamers where it's just a continuous flow. Um, so yeah, uh, I've actually found a couple people just by doing that, that I've, I've, went back and checked on their stream so it it can work have faith speaking of trek the new trailer for strange new worlds has me so hyped for the lower deck crossover yes i saw that i saw that um i haven't watched all of lower decks but i of what i've seen i really do like it um what's the character's name boimler yeah it's just so weird it's kind of weird but i do like it seeing them in in real life and I do like their outfits as well. I'm just looking at the screenshot again. The purple hair is a bit strange, but yeah, looks great. Do it. I'd watch the heck out of that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
<clears throat> Most of the streams I follow do more than one stream a week, so I have loads to watch. I don't catch all of them because some are during busy times. But that pesky thing called life. Tell me about it. <sighs> Tell me about it. That's why I'm a VOD watcher, generally. Like, um, there are a few people on JFS that I, I'm not around for their streams. Dean. Red Star. Nixer usually streams on a Saturday, so I can sometimes see it. But then um, Tom as well. So, yeah, I'm a vodder. I'm a vodder usually. You and all the JFS folks are the only streamers I watch. <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with Minecraft right now. Good. Good. I play too much Minecraft. It's actually... I got a bit sad yesterday because... I started to play Minecraft and it gave me a headache quite consistently. <laughs> this is bad. Like I was playing, I, I was doing more of my big base, my big circular base, and yeah, I was getting a bit, <laughs> I was getting a bad headache. And I stopped playing Minecraft and it went away and I was, I was a little bit worried. It's fine though. That's not going to stop me. All the ones on, I follow on Twitch are smaller channels too. That's good. Support your smaller streamers. Yeah, YouTube is getting more and more stuff. You know, it's got like um, the super chat stuff, which is basically like, well, it's just donations, isn't it? They've got memberships, which is like gift subs or, or just subs and you can gift them as well. And it's getting there. It is getting there slowly but surely. I was going to say something else then as well. Chatty McGee over here. What was I going to say? Was it about Star Trek? Maybe. <gasps> oh, no. It was about it was about Minecraft. It was Stumpy saying that you're obsessed with uh, Minecraft. I am actually in the process of planning um, a, a Minecraft video for the main channel. What? What is that? What year is it? Me? With a Minecraft video? Yeah. Um, I generally just stream Minecraft now, obviously, uh, on the JFS and things like that. But I feel like I have to make a video soon. Did I mention this last time? But anyway, uh, even if I did, I'll say it again. In June, uh, June, I believe June the 13th, I want to say, uh, will be 10 years 10 years since i uploaded my first episode from the jsano fan server so don't autoplay stop that um i feel like i need to make a video to to celebrate yeah i definitely did talk about this yeah june 13th 2013 so i'm gonna make something to celebrate that i've got a few ideas i mean i think it would just be nice i was actually just watching some of my old Minecraft videos the other day. <laughs> I, was just, I was being such a sado. I was watching a building game that we played about five years ago. Um, I was watching my video when I came back from New York. Honestly, I'm so glad I did stuff like that and made some Minecraft videos that are basically just diaries. Because it's kind of useless for everyone else unless you did find that interesting. But for me, it's like I can go back and actually remember stuff so yeah very pleased very pleased um let's think about this i have got greasy hands what can i do with that can i grease up a pig no As much as I would want to. Get through the door, please, George. There we go. I enjoy live streams more when I can talk to the streamer. It's no fun when the comments are flooding in. I would agree. I, I As I say, I do watch Limmy, who is a big streamer. Well, even in, in the, like, in terms of Twitch, probably not that big. He, he gets about three and a half thousand streamers quite consistently. But, I mean, there are people that have way more than that. Um... But even, even with that, like, the chat is just a constant scroll. 
But the thing is, that that's just pure background work from home stuff. I barely even watch it. I'm more just listening to him. Nothing's happened. The bone cruncher isn't firing up. The bone cruncher. Okay, so can I get through here? No. I've been streaming for 40 minutes. 30 minutes excluding the intro. And I've done literally nothing apart from get my hands greasy. Let's have another look through here. I can still see Spalachian fingers in the office. If I could just get them to leave, I might be able to grab the manuscript. Okay, right. So we need to create a distraction. That's good to know. <gasps> Holy moly, George is tell... George is... Whoa! I'm speechless. Amazing. What's that? Can I touch that? Nope. It's funny that Minecraft became popular again four years ago. Minecraft is just its just peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs of popularity. It will always be that. No point messing around with the card reader until I have the card to use on it. Okay, so we need a card reader for that, which we don't have. I, d I swear he didn't say that before, though. So that's useful. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I am very much looking forward to the next point, uh, the next Broken Sword game. Because I'm just a little bit done with these 3D ones. I know this is only the second one, but <sighs> just give me a nice 2D point and click or or if it's not 2d if it is 3d not one from like 15 years ago or whenever this game came out can i go through there locked Blast. i wonder if what's happening in there has something to do with this tony character I've just gotten into uh, into it after watching Mark's old JFS videos. Now I'm fully immersed in playing and watching with JFS folks' mods. Well, I just saw Red Stars uploaded a, a video. I, I haven't watched it yet, but I just saw on YouTube before I started streaming that Red Stars got a, a JFS episode out now. In the year 2023. What? Dennis, hello. Seems like a skill issue. Oh, yeah. Oh, for, for sure. For sure. I was playing a bit of um, Tears of the Kingdom yesterday, and honestly, I never felt so old playing a video game. I mean, it, to be fair, it was, it was just me learning the controls. But um, I was just... What does this button do? Which one's Zed? Where's ZR? Eh? Yeah, it was, it was bad. Do you know what I just really wish there was in this game? Which I just want to double check now, even though I'm pretty sure I looked before, is there's no... No, there's no, like, uh, hot spot. Hot spot highlighter. What does this do again? That just moved the pigs around. No, okay. Um Full Let's Play walkthrough coming soon. For which one? I don't know, Joe. Broken Sword 5 looks a bit more 3D than 2D. What? No. No, surely not. To be fair, I've only glanced at it because I was 
I don't want to be spoiled by it. I think it's... I don't know, actually, now you've said that. I mean, it's definitely 2D in terms of... Like, the plane looks 2D, but are the characters maybe 3D? In a 2D space-ish? I don't know. It, either way, it looks a bit more like the older ones to me, which bodes well. Oh, have I been over here? I have. I know I have. Let's get... There was some more in this room that I didn't really look at too closely. We have the fatty pigs, or the fatty meat over there. This one... What does he say about this room? Or this furnace? The door is locked shut, but the handle is cold, so it hasn't been used. Not interested. Locked. I wonder if what's happening in there has something to do with this Tony character. Tony. No. And that's being blocked by the wood. The door's blocked by all that wood. See? Told you. I ain't lying. else have I not touched with my greasy hands I wonder could I well let's, all right, let's just stop for a second for goodness sake stop what do we need to do here let's just take a step back and think about this we need to create a distraction to get all those goons out of the room in order to get the manuscript. We have greasy hands, which you would... Th let's think. What would that help you with? Handling things. Is there something that needs greased, like greased up? Is there something that's rusty or stuck, needs some lubrication or um, hmm. One of the puzzles here has a bit of Monkey Island to it. <gasps> oh, I don't know if I like the sound of that. The pig thing does remind me of the prosthetics record thing in Escape from Monkey Island. <laughs> oh. Get off the grease. Oh, is the grease not the... I, I just feel like that was such a weird thing for him to say. Is that not actually that important? Now, hang on a minute. We've also got... I can't climb in this room, can I? Oh. Did I go through there on the conveyor belt? No. All right, well, in here, we've got the bone crusher. This might make a distraction. Oh, no, this is where we got the key from. Do we still have the keys? Nothing's happened. The bone cruncher isn't firing up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, did we leave the key in this thing? There they are. Give me these. Oh, no, 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 no. Take. Right. Maybe if we fire up the bone cruncher again... I put the keys back in the bone cruncher. Um, turn it on. It 
It's a small bunch of safety keys. Love that noise. Although actually... Oh no, we can interact with that. Oh no, wait, what was I selecting then? <laughs> okay. I didn't actually want to click that, but fine. Oh, that noise is so bad. Turn that right off for right now. Could they not have made a, a sound effect that lasted longer than a second for that thing? So it didn't need to loop. Okay. Let's head... What's through here again? That's the card reader. Oh my god. I'm so just... I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Give me Nico. Give me the, the gang back together. That's what I say. Does anyone have any non... Obviously Dennis will know the answer. Does anyone have any ideas that aren't just the answer? I.e. you haven't just looked it up. Am I missing something? Well clearly I am. Therefore, I need some of my squash to think about this. That's good squash. Was there any other machine that uses those keys, maybe? Or... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Push this back. Stick these back in the forklift. Can we do something to the window? The safety key fits the lock on the forklift. That's great. Turn it on. Get up there. Get on up. Move on up. So can we interact with... No. Uh... It's the air vent for Finger's office. The air vent. Let's gas him. No. Can we do anything here? Using that won't work. So we can use items on the window. That's good to know. Have a salami. That's not quite right. I disagree. No, okay. That's not right. That's not the right approach. All right. Well, it was worth a shot. I feel like that that is something there. Oh, I'm getting warmer, says Dennis. I haven't got a clue. Can't even Google it because I'm addicted to a merge game on my phone. Merge? Is that what? Like a, like a bejeweled sort of thing? I can still see Spalacci and Fingers in the office. If I could just get them to leave, I might be able to grab the manuscript. Don't worry, George, we'll do it. We'll do it. What if we start a fire? I've got no reason to try that. Okay. How about some burnt salami? Mm, that won't work here. That's a terrible idea. <gasps> the golf club. I've got no reason to try that. <laughs> Oh. What's this? Oh, that's nothing. Fire. Fire is the answer then. Okay. Okay. Okay then. Fire is always the answer. I mean, we could go literally grab some fire. We have got a lighter, though. Oh, wait. It's the flyer for the lousy New York Hotel. Scribbled on the top is the number for the hotel cleaning cupboard, 5837X. 
No, I don't want. I don't. I don't want that. I wouldn't. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's where you merge items to create items. NPCs order food and you merge food items to fulfill the order. Oh, okay. So it's a bit like... Um, Diner Dash. I remember Diner Dash back in the day. Not Diner Dash, actually. That's not what I was thinking of. Well, kind of. Like a, like a plating up game. I hate puzzle games like Candy Crush. They wind me up when they get difficult. This merge game is great and easy. I'm with you. Give me an easy game. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, no, I can't go in there. Damn. Oh, unless... Wait a minute. Can I... Wait a minute. Bring this down. Oh no. Is that <laughs> Is that the only thing I can do with that? Is just push it and put it. Oh, I thought I could maybe push it to get over this fence. Although actually it doesn't really seem like a very big area to explore, so I guess not. I had this exact same issue in that stupid building as we were escaping all the goons. Where I was just completely flumped. <laughs> that was another thing that I was reminded of <laughs> when I was watching the old my, uh, my old J, JFS uh, videos. Flump. Good old little flumps. Oh, wait. Surely we don't need to go all the way back over to, like, that guy, do we? Is he still out there? Oh, yeah, there he is. Chico will see that I'm wearing his apron. I need to stay away from here unless I want to become the next Martino Vintage. Ah, uh, okay, that's wise. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, he could just look at us from out the window, but that's okay. Maybe he's... Very short-sighted. Oh, George is... Honestly, George is everything. He's strong. He's smart. He can speak 17 different languages. Especially Latin. Every man wants to be him. Every woman wants to be with him. Look for something flammable, says Max. What have I got that's flammable? Nothing so far. My apron? Locked. I wonder if what's happening in there has something to do with this Tony character. God, this game's going to take us ages to finish. <laughs> Is there any, any fabric in here that I missed? I do not think so. Unless the pigs are flammable. Burn. 
No, you can't even select him. <laughs> burn piggy, but piggies burn. No, that's... Don't burn them. Smoky bacon, yeah. Mm. Making me hungry. What's this? That's the... Is that where we got the fire blanket from? I imagine. Don't run into the door, George. Come on. Key card. That key card has got to open up a secret door or something, hasn't it? Surely. Can't see a damn thing in there. Do I need to go back in the furnace? Is that wise? Where was that place? Not there. I've literally forgot where everything is. It's back this way. Okay, but go back into the, the furnace -y room. If I can get through the door. <laughs> which... <laughs> which was... I guess it was in... I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my marbles. What the hell? It was this stupid room. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it must have been on the other side. Oh, it was on the other side. Oh, I remember that puzzle. Yes. With the, with the, um, like the, there's like a big, was it a radar dish or something like to balance? Oh no, it was, um, like some industrial thing, wasn't it? All right. Can I actually select? What can I select in here? Or. Oh, hang on. What did I just. That's a fireproof blanket. What about this? Oh, oh, oh. The wood's been burnt to charcoal, but it's still smoldering. No way can I pick that up with my bare hands. Here we go. All right. Give me that. I can hardly feel the heat of the wood through the blanket. What was that? Fire blanket holding smoldering wood. <sighs> okay. My bare hands could not do it. Thankfully, we had the blanket. Right. That was... Okay, all right, all right, all right. I didn't look around there enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, let's go burn this place down. This place needs to be nothing but a big pile of ash by the end of it. I will not be happy until we see the end of what's this place called? Mama Mama's Little Bakery no Mama's Mama's Meat Packing Mama something I forgot the Mama's name
Can I just stick this in there and start a fire? The wood smoldering in the air vent, oh. but only a small amounts going into the room. I need to make more. We need more air. I can still see Spallacci and Fingers in the office. If I could just get them to leave, I might be able to grab the manuscript. How do we get more air? Notes. That's not changed. How about um, lighting it a bit more? Mm, that won't work here. No. Oh no, we need more air, not more. Not more fire. Um, let's see now. So, what is there? Is there a, a fan or something? Or what would make more air? Me. Just blow into it. I can't see unless we unless we waft it with some paper. Did I try that? <laughs> Could we waft it? <laughs> you know, like they did. I mean, yeah, like surely just blowing on it would work. That's what uh, uh, Bear Grylls and um, who's the other guy that I used to watch? Oh, I used to talk about him. Oh. That's that's annoying. I've completely forgot his name. They used to make really good videos. Um, paper. Using that won't work. Blanket. That's not quite right. I don't know if I'm select. I don't think I'm actually selecting that now. So I don't think that's what I need to do. Because I think if that was, then that would be. Oh, unless it is, and I'm just not. Hang on. Out the way. No. I don't think that is it. Unless I just... Using that won't work. <sighs> Get a fan from somewhere. I want to know what that is. I keep thinking I can pick that up. Whatever that is. Hello? Do you have anything more to say? Hey there, fellow worker. You again? What now? Great. What about in the in the truck? Some ice. Oh. Yes, I know what would do this. I know. I know what to do. I think. No. Or maybe. Hang on. Because when we when we came in here. Oh, if I oh it's melting. It's melting. I wonder if. Okay, probably not this, but. If we put water on, um, oh bugger. If we put water on the um, smouldering, no, that'll just pull it out. That won't, that won't work. Hmm. It's 
It's got to be the ice, though, surely. I'm greased up already. I know you are, George. So I don't need to touch it again. And the ice is a timed thing. Because I was thinking steam. But is that actually what we need? Maybe not. Is it gone now? Yeah. My ice cube is gone. Oh, what about... Oh, I could put it... What if I put it in a fireproof blanket? Does that... Um, can you get out the... Get out the door. Get out the door. Get out the door, George. Uh... Does that keep it cold if I put it in the fireproof blanket? No way am I doing that. Well, that seems logical to me, but fine. Run, for some reason. Where am I running to? I don't know. Why am I running up here for? What am I expecting this to do? I'm just on that level of point and click puzzles where I'm just doing things for the sake of it. Like, here you go. Oh my god, it was the right thing to do. Ah, that smoke. Don't you just love it? <laughs> The smell of Naples herself in a salami. <laughs> Who would have thunk it, huh? But hey, you can have too much of a good thing, right? <laughs> what say we uh, <laughs> all head down to the club and uh, celebrate our little success? <laughs> For God's sake, yes. <laughs> what lovely noises. Hmm. Hey, Tony, how's it hanging, Tony? <laughs> you guys finish up now and head home, you hear? What about the new guy? What new guy? Fella started just now. Ah, let him be. Hey, he ain't gonna starve, right? <laughs> Fingers and the other guys are leaving. Now's my chance to get the manuscript. Please, rabbit. Rabbit. No, don't run into the wall. Fingers and the rest of them came <laughs> out of this room. But Oops. how? The room's full of wooden boxes and there's only one exit. It's the card reader, George. But where do we get the card? I don't know, unless they dropped it, maybe. Can I just try any card? <laughs> I am not going to do that. No. Not be foolish anyway. I guess we need to find it first. Maybe they maybe they dropped it. Let's go have a look. Oh. I hear something. Oh, that's just a van. Well, they didn't drop it. <gasps> but he's now gone. He's now gone from this area. So, can I sneak in here and have a little looky? Locked. Very wise. You never know who's after your salami these days. Damn. Have I... Do I still have those... Oh, they're machine keys, though. That's not going to work. Um... Hmm. Hmm. 
That door leads into the back room of the trade shop. So it does. Nico, I don't know where Nico is, Max. I think she's gone forever. I really hope by the end of this stream today we're gonna... We would have seen her, but I'm... Oh, can we go in that way? Locked. Ugh. Very wise. You never know who's after your salami these days. <laughs> you, you never do, George. Quite right. And he spent the rest of his days as a salami salesman. I could do that job. I could do that. I'd be, I would be there and I'd be saying, Hey, you. Your pizza looks boring. Get some salami on there. Yeah, capiche. And then I'd be instantly put into a body bag. Um, we don't need that anymore. I feel like there's definitely something to these pigs. But what is it? Oh. oh my god, this must be Tony. Looks like it's going to be another good year for the Martino Vintage. Tony, no. Who's Tony again? I really don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. Ugh. Yes! A key card. A key card? Why do you sound so nerdy? <laughs> <laughs> Meat packing company key card. Yum yum indeed. Lucery Prime, hello. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, honestly. What is going on here? Forget about it. No, never. Never. Um Yes, this is the right way. Oh look! We can go in here now. Maybe. If George wants to cooperate with me. Yes. Mamma mia, mamma mia. What do we got here now? Not much by the looks of it. That I can actually select. Oh. Oh. Big old machete back there. Or a cleaver, I should say. Oh. I'm not about to sit in that chair. No, but can I grab this? Whoa. There's a pool of blood under the chair in the corner. Hmm. We all know that pigs don't sit on chairs. Wrong. I don't even want to imagine what's been going on in here. Wrong. George, I think for the first time... George is wrong. And I will show you why. Right here. And there. What an idiot. Honestly. Can I not actually pick anything up here? Is this just where they did the dirty deed? Okay, here we are. Right, so we're back here again. Um, which is where I actually don't want to be. Go back in there. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, I sneezed. I just hurt my chest a little bit sneezing. That's not a good sign, is it? Right, use that with that. Uh -huh. Thank heavens for secret doorways. 
Why is it so dark? Put some lights in here, Mama. See, I thought that was a wall and that was the way to go. I can't see a damn thing. Oh, I like those, though. I like those light rays. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, what do we have? Let's start snooping. Hello. The cabinet's locked and secured so tightly that it's impossible to open. Even a seasoned pro would struggle here. Okay, well then maybe there's some keys or something. Oh, look at all these drawers. The drawers are locked. Fingers must have taken the key. Okay. What about this one? What is that? What is that? Something wrapped in silk hanky. Um, Whatever's wrapped in this handkerchief must be very precious to someone. Terrific. A photograph of actress Lucy Chu from that film In Cold Blood. Nice, but not worth wrapping in a handkerchief. Okay, that's random. Can I look at this? Is a there some... promo photograph of Lucy Chu. Is there something on the hanky? A silk handkerchief. Obviously Italian. Okay. That's a sign of me getting old. Oh yeah? Well, shut up. <laughs> Go to Berry Fatty, hello, welcome. Honestly, I would dream of going bowling with Nico, even though she'd probably just insult me the whole time and sass me. But I want that. <clears throat> Instead, we're just getting George talking about salami the whole time. Are all of these locked as well? No, don't go around, George. Just open them here. The drawers are locked. They're all locked. Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. Could I... Can I push this? No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Well, then what could we use? Key card. No, that's make any not sense. quite right. Um, I feel like this is a, some sort of clue or some sort of secret. Burn it. That's not quite right. Or burn the handkerchief. Using that won't work. All right. Just wanted some destruction here. Mm. Oh, what is that? The drawers are locked. Oh, that's no the point in trying to open them. Okay. It wasn't on the drawers, but fine. Um. Hmm. We need to get in there, clearly. No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Oh. Oh. Through the open window, I can just see the bone cruncher. Falling into that thing would be a big mistake. I bet it could tear cars apart. Cut this? It. Hmm? Uh, Ah, you can push it. Well, <laughs> maybe not. The secure cabinet's wheels are rusted and seized up. Oh! Nothing a bit of oil or grease won't fix. Yes! Finally, being greasy has a use. No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. No, no, just touch it all. No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Or, oh, or... or can I uh, um, use the hanky with my hands? Mm, that won't work here. <sighs> how do I select just the wheels? Or how do I grease it up? 
Chris Mia Woman. Oh, rub some salami on it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to do that. Uh, the hanky looks a bit spicy. What do you mean? This? With this? That's not no. the right approach. Is there a way to select myself? There's not, is there? The cabinet isn't going to budge without some extra help. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying, George. I'm trying. Um, it's the cabinet where fingers stashed Anna Maria's manuscript. Oh. Secure being the operative word. I've never seen so many locks. How am I going to get into it? Well, I'm guessing crushing it will still be fine. Because maybe we can just like half crush it or crunch it. And that will open it. I mean, clearly we need to push it because that's what the game is telling us to do. Or giving us the option to do. So... Maybe we're, maybe our hands aren't greasy anymore. No, I think they probably will be. But I kind of want to use the handkerchief. Oh, let's just go rub the handkerchief straight on it. Let's just go rub it straight on. Straight on the meat. Oh, we can look down all of them. Not the best view in the world, but hey, whatever. And that one? I can see out over the meatpacking company. Can't say I feel that factory boss Gene kicking in, though. Who's Gene? <laughs> Pardon me. Did I just say something very inappropriate with meat and rubbing? I think I may have. I channeled my inner Ainsley Harriet. Rub that meat. <laughs> I've got to stop talking now. Oh, the door's there. Uh, get in there. It is time to ruin this lovely Italian handkerchief. Let's shortcut through here. Oops, overshot a little bit. Come on. Right, does this work? Stick that on there. Well, that stain sure won't ever come out. Cool. Got some nice meat fat ready to smear. <laughs> I was talking about the word smear the other day. Smear is such an unpleasant word. People always say about, um, uh, Moist. Like, no one likes the word moist, right? I think smear might be worse. Like, when did you when did you ever hear the word smear used in a positive sense? Like, I find that, uh, to me, if something was smeared and it was a good thing, you would say sm maybe smothered. Like, oh, this cake is smothered in icing. But you wouldn't say smeared. Smeared is a negative. Smeared is just like a bad reason for doing it. Honestly, why am I talking about this? I don't know. I like to talk about words. Um, stick that on there. Maybe the grease from the handkerchief could loosen up those wheels. Indeed, you do. Imagine watching security camera footage of George running around yeah, missing doors. That should do it. Yeah, I've got to be Wheels honest. Might move a little now. Doorways are my enemies in this game. So far, it feels like. Jump out, George. Come on. Nope. He's not that much of a movie star. Oh, do I? I need to go get the keys, don't I? Ah! <laughs> well, 
What about Shmir? Oh, Shmir is he? Oh, I love that. Give me all the Shmers. Shmir. <laughs> I, I smear myself out of bed on a Monday morning. <laughs> exactly. Smear just has this idea of like... Well, no, I'm not going to say it because it's disgusting. Right. I hope we've all eaten after all this smear talk anyway. And I guess you can smear someone as like a smear campaign. Smear is just a bad word. No one used the word smear. That's my new rule. I'm going to put it as a banned word on I Twitch. I put the keys back in the bone cruncher. Right, turn this on, but don't ruin the whole thing. George, watch out! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that was kind of bad. That was kind of bad. Could they not have done any better animation for that? Don't stand on it, George. The MP3 player is Anna Maria's manuscript. You're gonna have salami. Mmm, yum. A little bit of Tony. It's the real thing, all right. <laughs> 14th century. The question is, how am I going to research it? Museums are out of the question. No. I need somewhere much more salubrious. That really just reminded me of The Simpsons then, where he was walking on it. It reminded me of Homer with the sacred parchment. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> the sacred 14th century manuscript. Oh, oh, oh so sorry. Oh, look, I'm so clumsy. Oh. Right, where are we going to? Finally out of that awful place. Hey, Anna Maria, look. George, you found it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All part of the service. Now, let's see just what we've got here. Yeah, ignore the footprints. Sorry. All right. Oh, wow. Look at this. 14th century. Wait a minute. This is something I made at school. I reckon those, that tea stain and those burnt edges. This was my school project from year four. <laughs> Maybe not. We've got a Latin header. Part one, part two, part three, part four. We've got an angel. Oh my goodness, there's so many things to look at. Black symbols, angel, a knight and a dragon. Uh, fortified city, an idol. I hope there's so many things to click. Holy man, holy coat of arms, holy man, king, castle, hell, <laughs> just hell. Okay, let's start at the top. It says. Below the fortress of the one true patriarch awaits the angel. For he who is worthy and follows the path of the righteous. Your Latin's good. It was kind of geeky at school, but you know what? It sure paid off. So, all we need to do is work out who the true patriarch was and where his fortress is. And then find a way to get below it. But which fortress? Hmm, well, that is the question. It says... The first, find the knights who share a horse and grasp the stone to open the way. Maybe the first refers to the path that the righteous must take to reach the angel. That makes sense. So we should understand the clue once we arrive at the right place. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm following so far. Part two. It says, the second, address the arms upon the shields and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Hmm, I'm liking the sound of all this stuff. This is more what I want. I want things like this, like uh, actual puzzles to do with tombs and crypts and move this thing that direction and look at the, oh yes, oh yes. It says, the third, 
Follow the master's worldly route and prove yourself worthy to lift. First, the fortress where he did fight, but was overwhelmed by Mamluk's might. Then he traveled to Longshank's fair city, and as grand preceptor, he was received. To the temple at Vilnov, where he was appointed grand master of the order, before journeying to the island where he holds his court. Did I just hear Mukluk? <laughs> Something very similar. Mamluk? Yes, move some boxes in that direction. No, not like that, not like that. Part four. It says, the last. To see the light, turn from Holy Sion to face the great fortress of the Empire of the East, the seat of the Holy Church in the West, the learned Coptic city to the south. Turn from Holy Sion to face, from where? Jerusalem? Don't ask me, George. I have no freaking clue. Okay, well, that was all the Latin. Let's look at the things around. Four knights with shields. The fourth coat of arms is hidden. Okay. See how the fortified city has minarets? It looks eastern. A worthy and devout looking man? Hey, I recognize this. It's Baphomet, the idol that the Templars were accused of worshipping. I really need to find a way to research these subjects. Oh, I recognize that. Yeah, that must have been one of the previous games, Baphomet. It's an eastern looking city. And this looks like St. George, the patron saint of England fighting the famous dragon. Strange. The city on the right looks eastern, but it's being defended by a Christian knight. Wasn't St. George English? Actually, he came from Turkey. George is so smart. I mean, that was us. We defeated the dragon. Actually, been there, done that. This must be the angel that the manuscript refers to. It doesn't look much like treasure to me. Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. All right, so that was the right. What's the left? Now that's a king who really loves himself. Okay, yeah, looking in the mirror. Mm-hmm. A deformed holy man gazes over the seas. A fairly typical depiction of a fortified European city. And then hell. The fires of hell are consuming the city. Wait, what was that lady in the middle? Oh, I can't select her. Oh, oh, what's that? The manuscript was made in 1307. The Templars must have known an attack was imminent and took care their treasure would be safe. Right. Fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. In Lease? some pattern. Yeah, whatever. Uh, is that it? Yes, I think that might be it. All right, well, that's a lot of information to take in. But it's all there. Can you decode it, George? Uh-uh, not fully. I need a library or a database. But the streets are too dangerous. Can't we get information online? Well, there is a website. Andre Labano's Society of Antiquarian Knowledge, but I was locked out. Didn't you say that Virgil had hacking skills? Yeah, but he's pretty angry right now. Then get charming. All right, Anna Maria, jeez. The Sword of Baphomet was the place where the energy sources crossed. That place in Scotland. Ah, okay. Okay. Right, yeah, time to hack. Time to hack. Where are you? Those things are still Zed fighting. Oh, there you are. Virgil, I feel terrible. Virgil? The silent treatment. I hate that. 
Listen, Virgil, please. We can sort this out. Help me. <laughs> Virgil, I feel terrible. Virgil? The silent treatment. I hate that. Listen, I've got a... Uh, I've got an... Oh, wait. His MP3 player broke, didn't it? Well, here's a new one. There you go. Virgil, I know nothing can replace your MP3 player, but I thought this might ease the loss. Well, what do you know? Same model. Uh, you steal it? No, certainly not. I'm a lawyer. Exactly, so you stole it. Hmm. Well, it doesn't replace the music, though, does it? Ah, heck. I got it all on CD at home anyway. Well, thanks, George. What a baby. I forgot that he was... I mean, who gives a silent treatment for breaking their crappy little MP3 player? Ugh. Silly Virgil. That wasn't how they were just at the nightclub. <laughs> they were having a great time. Uh, right, are you going to talk to me now? Hey, Virgil, you got five minutes? Sure, what can I do for you? Can you hack away, please? Oh, look at this. Oh, no, I thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was a symbol for hacking. Um, oh, what's this one? Virgil, oh. I need to get online to do some research. So go online. What's stopping you? Uh, the site I need blackballed me after Glastonbury. Locked me out. Take it from me, George, and I've been in prison. Ain't no such thing as locked out. Now, where's that little gadget? I know it's here somewhere. There you go, George. This should be useful. Oh, what oh. is it? Oh. It's a flashcard with a few little features of my own design. Just slip it into your PDA and ride that internet. <laughs> George's face. <laughs> oh, I'm going to need to screenshot that. I'm, hang on, can I get him to do that again? That was so good. So, what happened after we barricaded ourselves in? First they broke into your office, then they searched the whole place, then they smashed everything up. Oh. I bet you showed him a few moves, though, hey, Virgil? Are you kidding? I was under the desk, man. Oh, well, so what did they do then? Busted my MP3 player and left. Well, that's some story. <laughs> What's so funny, man? Well, you under a desk, Virgil. I mean, <laughs> I wish I'd seen that. You want to keep me as your friend, you better leave it, George. It's not that funny. It's not that funny, George. So, uh... How's Anna Maria been holding up? Oh, don't worry about her, man. I talked her into a nice, cool place. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, she's been through a lot, George. She needed a shoulder to lean on. Uh-huh. And you just happen to have one available, huh? You know me, George. Yep, I do. Don't be a creep now, Virgil, please. All right, you watch it. Watch it. Right, where's our little hacker? Hacking device. Oh. Did we already put it in, maybe? Connect. Aha! The Lobino's private server. Connected. Connection firewall. Hack connection? Yeah, actually no. Oh wait. <laughs> That's a really big sofa. It is a really big sofa. Why is he so small? <laughs> I didn't even realise the scale of that is a little bit off. Like, let's just go stand next to it. Oh, see, we look huge. Maybe Virgil's just tiny. All right, no judgment here. He's just a small man. All right, let's try that again. Connect. Lobano. Yes. Uh, hack. Time to hack. Oh, right, no. George, this is my homemade hacking system with the emphasis on homemade. Know what I mean? I'll show you how to use it by hacking into a computer owned by an old friend of mine. This is you, symbolized by your PDA. This is your destination, the database you're attempting to hack. What you gotta do is connect your data stream to the target computer without being spotted or stopped. See here, my friend lives on the other side of the state. This mountain range is in the way, so we gotta go around it. 
If we're going to hack into the database, we're going to have to pass through these points, or root nodes. They disguise the data stream from your PDA so you don't get found out. To manipulate the data stream, you got to use routers and refractors. You understand? No. You're utilizing other less secure systems in the area. You're pretty limited to what the device can find at the time, but there's normally enough to do the job. This one acts like a mirror. It'll deflect the beam at 90 degree angles. This one refracts your beam at 45 degree angles. These are splitters. They can split a beam at either 45 or 180 degree angles. As the target device is searching for one data stream, you'll need to converge the data streams back into one. You do this using a splitter, but in reverse. But if you're using a splitter in one direction, you can't use it in the other. These points are the bad boys. They're nodes which detect what you're up to and stop your hacking. You gotta be one step ahead of these fellas. Accidentally root your data stream into one of these and your connections bust open. I recommend you plan your route before you start placing nodes all over the place. So, watch me complete this puzzle. Oh. Oh, okay. <gasps> Watch out, Virgil. You said plan it before you... Oh. Hang on. What's going on here? Oh, that's about... That's a reflector. That's going to reflect. Oh, and he's going to reflect. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. Now, let's see what my friend has in his database. Oh, no. Oh, boy, we didn't want to see that. He is one outrageous dude. Is that a goat? Okay, George, your turn. Is that the goat from the first game? <laughs> um. Okay. Wow. We are just... Right. Um... Here we go. I'm ready for this. Do you know what? I actually am. I, I I don't mind this sort of stuff. I don't mind this sort of stuff. So our destination is here. And what we're going to do is... Uh, oh, that's a reflector, isn't it? Did it. Oh, no, wait. It has to go through that one, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Um, watch out now. Don't point towards that thing. <laughs> okay, right, great. Um, oh, no, wait. Oh, here we go. Nicole kid, man. <sighs> That's, hang on. Oh, sorry, I missed Dennis's. Goat Lamb Rouge. There we are. Uh, oh, so that... I'm coming at the right, wrong angle there. It needs to come probably down and then rotate like that and then probably rotate like that and go straight down. So... Maybe we do something like this and something like this. Something like this. <laughs> Sorry. Did it. Yale data. Oh, well, we just hacked the Yale, basically. All right, what are we up to? Aha. All right, that's the manuscript. Yep, yeah, go back. Obtained historical database from Andre's machine. Uh, click that. Welcome note from Andre Lobino. Dear colleagues. Dear colleagues. Uh, I welcome you to the Society of Antiquarian Knowledge. Simply enter the keyword on a subject that you wish to research and indulge yourself in this first class repository 
of wisdom. Those of you who know me will agree that I am a tolerant and open-minded man. No. It is therefore with particular regret that I must inform you that after making a number of brazen and fallacious, no, fallacious claims, George Stobart, a man who would once have claimed many of you as friends, has been barred for life from accessing this repository. I waste no time on this disagreeable subject and instead invite you to enjoy my little drawing inspired by the claimed exploits of Mr. Stobart. And there we are, defeating the dragon. <laughs> he doesn't believe us. What a jerk. All right, Baphomet. The link with Baphomet proves that there's some kind of Templar connection here. I'm not actually going to read all of this. Um... Because there's a lot of links here. Knights Templar, we should know all about the these. The Templars really were victims of betrayal and greed. Philippe the Fourth. I wonder, did you pay for your sins? God, there's a lot of information here. What's the great secret? Um, they had the crown of thorns. They were in possession of a great secret. Some believe this to have been the most revered of all Christian relics, the Holy Grail. Others believe that the great secret may have been a particular knowledge which, if revealed, would undermine our fundamental view of Christianity itself. I, I recognise this guy's name. Jacques, Jacques de Molay yeah. was cynically betrayed by Philippe the Fourth of France. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to find something about... Oh, what's this? Hospitalers. Hospi hospitalers. Uh, how about Philippe? Even by medieval standards, Philippe the Fourth was a ruthless, vain dictator. His puppet Clement the Fifth was no better. Let's let's investigate him. Clement the Fifth was just a puppet of the king. Did you know popes used to be regularly attacked by mobs in those days? Huh. Can't say I'm surprised. As Napoleon said, history is written by the victors. You know what? I think that the holy man on the right of the manuscript could be Clement V. He was Pope of Avignon and Philip's crony. But he can't be the true patriarch referred to in the manuscript. So we just need to work out who is the true patriarch. All right, and we're done. The end. No. Um. Right. Well, that was something, I suppose. Uh, home? Oh, no, not home. <gasps> Can I not get back in there now? Oh, no, wait, I've already done it. That's fine. Back here. Here we are. Right. Uh, <clears throat> John the Baptist? Any information on here? What have I not clicked? Hmm. I feel like I've clicked everything. Unless I'm just done here. Am I done here? Hi. Anna Maria, can you spare a moment? What do you need, George? Let me finish speaking. Holy moly. Okay, right. We've got some things to talk about. So, this manuscript has been in your family for years, huh? It was handed down to my father. He had a whole collection. Oh, so there were more? Many more. Interesting. That's good to know. So each one could point to a hidden treasure. I wouldn't be too sure about that. But this one certainly does. 
That meatpacking place is pretty shady. It's a real factory, huh? It is. But take my advice, never eat a Martino salami. So why are the Mafia after your manuscript? My father was a heavy drinker. There wasn't a bar in town he didn't tell his treasure map story. And the fact that his daughter was decoding it. I guess it was just a matter of time before someone took him seriously, huh? Hmm. Not actually that useful. Uh, can we? If we go to leave, is there a new place we can visit? I need to research the manuscript more. No. Okay, back on our phone then. Oh, unless... Uh... Burn it. <laughs> I am not going to do that. No, 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 no. Um, burning is not the answer. Can I... I guess just, let's just go back on the... I must be missing something. I must... Oh, hang on. Can I ring... No. Connect. No, not connect. Back on the notes. Oh, Latin? Oh, yeah, that's just the... That's just the... The text. I must have missed a link there there or maybe not what, what have I not clicked on here I don't know I feel like I've clicked on everything. Also, they're missing a space there. Godfather Part 4, Christopher Holy Grail. Now there I'd watch. Maybe that'd be the first Godfather film I actually watch. <laughs> um, go back. No, I, I, I swear I have definitely clicked all of them. Maybe we look back on the 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 map itself. The map, manuscript, whatever this thing is. It depicts Philippe the Fourth of France. Okay, so now we know that, um, and it was that guy. Clement the Fifth. Certainly not the true patriarch. If Clement V is not the true patriarch, and St. George, who came from Turkey, is fighting a dragon below the city of a holy man who is the true patriarch... Yes? Then the city must be Istanbul, which was known as Constantinople in medieval times. And the fortress must be a reference to the old citadel of Constantinople. George, that's amazing. Does it still exist? Well, I don't know, but I bet someone in Istanbul would. George, you are brilliant. Thank you so much for helping me. We are brilliant. Yeah, I'm having fun. I'd never turn down the chance to search for Templar treasure. Istanbul, Constantinople, Istanbul, do 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 you feel like a trip to Istanbul? You think we'll find the treasure? We'll have a damn good try. We're finally leaving this bloody city. Oh. Room service. Come in. Good afternoon, Effendi. I bring chai for you and your good lady wife. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> She's not my wife, you know. Ah, of course. Yes, well, you are indeed blessed, sir, to have such a beautiful mistress. Oh. 
Uh, no, what I mean is, we haven't... Uh, we don't... <clears throat> There's nothing happening. Do not worry, sir. A few nights here in the beautiful Pasha Palace, and the sweet creature will know your special gift of romantic love, I am sure. I shall leave you to your rejuvenating sleep, sir. Wow. Hi, George. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, yeah, hi. What a sweet waiter. What was he saying? Oh, nothing. Uh, the weather. Rain. Says it's not expected. Uh, never has been. All an ugly rumor. <laughs> Which is good. Um, time to find the treasure, huh? I'll be in the corridor while you get dressed. Oh. All set? Yeah, thank you, George. All right, I mean, I often I often talk about George being pretty much James Bond in some of these games, but not so much there. Not so much there. That was a little bit sad. Come on, George. I only watched the first Godfather movie, didn't like it. Read the first book, meh. I read the book, oh well, that's interesting. Uh, I've played so many Grand Theft Auto games, I feel like I know it. That's kind of true, actually. He can fight a dragon, but cannot afford two rooms. <laughs> He's a bit of a cheapskate. All that treasure doesn't matter. I guess he's not rich, is he? We know. He's just working as a broker. Right. Well, I think that's as good a place as any to stop for tonight. We've just come to Istanbul. Oh, look at this place. To Istanbul. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a creepy waiter as well. <gasps> there's a mirror. Oh, look at that mirror. Oh, hang on. Let's just go look at the mirror. Oh, wow. That's actually a very good mirror. Oh. oh. Look, you can even see the people in the background moving. Okay, I'm going to give it five out of five for the mirror. That's better than, like, Last of Us level. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there for tonight. Let's save before I forget. Save. Save here. Pasha Palace Hotel. Five, we've been playing for five and a half hours. <laughs> and we did not do much. We did not make much progress, really, did we? Um, but anyway... Oh, bargain for it. You've got to love a charity shop. Oh. Um. Yes. What am I doing? This one. Ooh. I'll leave the, the music on. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. I hope you... I'm sorry that I was so useless with that meat packing puzzle and we spent about an hour or longer just wandering around those rooms. But we got there eventually uh, with, a, with a few little... A little uh, nudges in the right direction um yeah cool so uh in terms of what's coming up um i it's bank holiday i was gonna say it's a bank holiday weekend in the uk this weekend so that means i have monday off hallelujah long weekend so i will have more time and i kind of have a a, a stream idea planned which is actually an idea suggested by Dr. Pompidou um, I was thinking about maybe <laughs> I don't know this might not work but I was thinking about maybe booting up a um, I found my, my copy of The Simpsons Seen It <laughs> DVD board game and I thought it might be quite fun to try that as a stream um, watch some Simpsons clip clips and I can test my knowledge because I honestly I'm a little bit rusty with um, Simpsons knowledge so it'll be a good test um, so I might try that at the weekend uh, since it will be a bank holiday on the Monday I was the same for you Dennis is it just like the May the May bank holiday yeah um, but if not there will be I think I've got a Simpsons hit and run video I don't actually know <laughs> I forgot what I've recorded coming out soon and there'll be more Bond Revisited coming up on Tuesday. Next Tuesday will be The World Is Not Enough. 
this Tuesday it was Tomorrow Never Dies, honestly. Very good Bond film. Big fan. Delicious, some might say. Um, but yeah. That is going to do it. Monday's Memorial Day in the US. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. What's that little, what's that little icon next to your name? Turbo. I didn't even know they still did Twitch Turbo. Wow. Twitch Turbo. I did not even know that. Cool. Um, not sure what it's called, but it's like the second day of something. Probably religious. Yeah. Sounds about right. I hate ads. Don't we all? Blue in things. Okay, anyway. I'm rambling now. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by tonight and chatting. Lovely as always. MC, thank you very much for the subscription earlier. Uh, and I will see you all. Uh, hopefully at the weekend, but if not... Oh, maybe not this time. Oh, I nearly said this time next week. I might be going to a pub quiz this time next week. So I might stream on a Wednesday instead. We shall see. Stay tuned. I'll see you when I see you, basically. Take care. Bye-bye. Typically, when I bloody stop streaming or stop talking, the music stops in the game. I wanted the nice Istanbul music to play me off. Never mind. We'll stick to the usual. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>